What's up everybody, Nate here from Out of the Basement bringing you a brand new action figure review. Today from Star Wars The Black Series we are taking a look at the Pike Soldier from the Book of Boba Fett. This might not be the ideal Pike Soldier that we've all been waiting for, but to me it is a Pike Soldier nonetheless. So I am super happy to finally have this species in the line. It's always great to get another alien even though this is pretty much just a humanoid kind of in a mask. And while I think the execution overall is pretty good, there are definitely some missteps with this figure that we'll talk about throughout the review. But for now, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the package. Obviously, the pike is in a window box. It is the Book of Boba Fett green. You can see the mural art on the side looking very nice. Here's the bio on the back of the box, and this time it's at least about the pikes. Here's another look at that mural art. This is the seventh figure in the Book of Boba Fett line. And here's that lovely GameStop barcode on the bottom. Thank you, Justin, for grabbing this one for me. Let's go ahead. We're not gonna waste any more time here. We're gonna open this figure. We'll take a look at the two accessories and then the pike itself. We'll start things off here with an accessory we haven't seen in a long time, but collectors of the Black Series will definitely recognize this as Cassian Andor's blaster, that when it comes with Cassian has some pretty cool attachments, but this time around they just gave us the pistol and it's cast in that sparkly gray plastic. We do get a newly sculpted rifle here, which is very nice, although it is devoid of paint apps. I'm always happy to see a new sculpted weapon come to the line, but I really do wish we would get back to the black plastic and leave this sparkly gray stuff behind. Now it is always nice to get two blasters, but for the pike in particular, I think we definitely could have got some other stuff. Mainly, I think swappable face masks would have been really cool and just a removable face mask in general. Because you'll see once we get into the figure, the faceplate does not even come off, which I think is a bummer because Hasbro usually does such a great job with aliens. So let's go ahead and jump into the figure. And here's the Pike Soldier out of the packaging. And this is a really nice looking figure. Despite it almost having zero paint apps on it, it does have some nice sculpting. And at the very least, I think they did a fantastic job on the face mask that we did get with this figure. Even though this figure does have a generally plain looking design, I'm almost certain that it is mostly a brand new sculpt. I checked over some figures like Grief Karga and Migs Mayfeld to see if there was any similarities. And so far, I didn't see anything between those, but I do wanna say I'm not 100% certain. So please let me know. If there is, I think it's totally excusable though for this figure as it is just kind of plain clothes with a new head, which is fine with me. So let's go ahead, pull them off the stand and we'll get a closer look. So like I was saying, this figure doesn't really have a whole lot of paint app detail on it. There is some nice sculpt work going on, but I think the main attraction here is this really nice face mask. We get a very cool metallic gold. Why can't we see a C-3PO painted with this paint? And some silver details there as well on the breathing apparatus. And then glossy black in the eyes as well. Really help make this look super accurate to the show. You can see there's also little bits of yellow, red, and gray, and some silver on the belt. But otherwise, it is all pure sculpt work from here out this nice big hood on the back. We do have a pouch that's unpainted. I bet if you just gave this guy a wash, a lot of these details would really come to life. But even as is, it is nicely sculpted. And again, I think what was most important was nailing the head. And they absolutely did that. It is accurately sculpted. Although, like I said, no removable face mask. I feel like that was a pretty big missed opportunity there. So to me, I think they really did a good job here with the details. It looks accurate enough. Moving on to the articulation, the head can look up just a little bit and he can just look down a little bit as well. So pretty limited head range there, just a little side to side. Of course it can rotate around, but it does appear to be on that double neck peg, but because of this sculpt, it definitely inhibits it to a certain degree. And there is this little scarf here as well. That's making things a little bit restricted. The shoulders can move all the way out. They are very nicely articulated, not quite Y pose worthy, but they can rotate all the way around. You can't really see them, but there are some butterfly joints in there. Got a single elbow that gives us just a little bit over 90 degrees 
and a swivel. We have a trigger finger hand that rotates and has the vertical hinge. It's a little stiff on mine. And the Pike has a bonus trigger finger hand with a horizontal hinge here. As far as a crunch goes, he can go forward just a little bit, which for a Black Series figure is pretty significant. And going back is pretty limited there, but it's to be expected from Black Series. We have rotation and side to side there as well. For the legs, they are a little difficult to kick out because of the soft plastic skirt piece here. It's not really cut right there so really without stressing the plastic this is about as far as you can kick the leg out of course if you wanted to force it you definitely can get a little bit more range out there but you will stress the plastic there so with that in mind here are the splits again limited by the soft plastic limited kickback here as well do still have thigh swivel on him though and a single knee that gives us just over 90 degrees with a swivel and finally the feet can go down a decent amount there and they can go up just a little bit but he does have ankle pivot and peg holes so it's pretty standard fare for a black series figure i think on this guy i definitely would have liked to see some soft goods here instead of the soft plastic it's really inhibiting the leg articulation and kind of holding back on some of those more dynamic poses you might want a pike soldier to be in. And it is nice that he can easily grip and aim down the sights of the two-handed weapon. If you want to do like a crouching shooting pose, once again, it is inhibited by this soft plastic skirt piece here. I wish I could just get a little bit more range because as it is now, it, he's kind of doesn't, you know, I can't quite pull this leg far enough up to compensate for this, so... It's unfortunate, but that crouching pose I don't think is going to be possible with him. Now let's go ahead and wrap things up here with some comparisons. Starting with the magnificent Glavis Ringworld Black Series Mandalorian and the Book of Boba Fett Cobb Vanth. And the Pike Soldier here is kind of tiny. That's a little unexpected. Were they that small in the show? Next up we've got Fennec and Cad Bane. And for the last Black Series figures we have the Archive Tusken Raider and the Deluxe Book of Boba Fett, Kersantan. And we'll do one quick import comparison with the SH Figuarts Book of Boba Fett, Boba. I think these two actually look pretty great together. So with that being said, I think the Pike Soldier is the definition of just a good figure. It's not great, it's not bad. The articulation is a little limited. The character design also doesn't have a holster, so there is no weapon storage for the second blaster. However, the details are really solid, mainly that mask, although I wish we could have got some swappable face plates or even a removable one to see the actual pike face underneath. For now, I would classify this figure as just one of those that you pick one up and then you wait to grab some more if they go on sale, since this is technically an army builder. Although, I don't know, maybe we will see some repaints with different colors on the face mask, so I'm going to wait and see how that plays out. This is going to be the only pike for me on the shelf at the moment. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. We're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. Big shout out and special thank you to all of our current channel members. Your continued support is truly appreciated. And thank you to everyone else out there for watching. I'm Nate from Out of the Basement, and I will see you next time.